but coin has got another actual digital gold problem. UK Royal Mint has gold-backed cryptocurrency. The Royal Mint becomes the next sovereign mint to announce a gold-backed crypto. He rests the details editor s note, since Bitcoin cannot be used as currency, the pumpers have been calling Bitcoin digital gold. Well, now, there is actually digital gold cryptocurrencies being launched, and many from actual sovereign mints, which begs the question, if there is actually digital gold, that Bitcoin is not, then what exactly is Bitcoin? By Helen Parts via Cointelegraph a UKS Royal Mint, the institution responsible for producing all the physical money the country has for circulation, has announced the launch of its own gold-backed cryptocurrency. The blockchain-based coin, called Royal Mint Gold, RMG, is a digital representation of gold stored in the Royal Mint Vault. The Royal Mint Bullion, the Royal Mint Company, that sells physical gold, is the first company to allow customers to hold gold-backed assets on blockchain, Tom Coghill, RMGS commercial lead, stated in an interview with Express.co.uk. Coghill also mentioned that one RMG coin is equal to one gram of gold, adding that it has real gold you're reholding when you're reholding our RMG. A recent report published by the World Gold Council, WGC, compared Bitcoin and gold, declaring that, though Bitcoin saw a higher growth in value in 2017, gold would remain an important store of value investment. Coghill claimed that Bitcoin investments are more uncertain than investments in gold. Gold has probably had an argument that it has been a store of value for 6,000 years, Bitcoin has a bit younger, and the future of Bitcoin is uncertain. The RMG project was first unveiled by the Royal Mint in December 2016. The UK is not the only country to create a precious metals-backed cryptocurrency. Last week local sources in Australia reported that the country's largest precious metal refinery, Perth Mint, was set to develop its own cryptocurrency backed by physical precious metals. Bitcoin is crashing again, back below 10k dollar, as Bitfinex tethers subpoena d given the preponderance of scams, in the cryptocurrency market should probably take what has left of their money, and run if they can of course. From Zero Hedge Bloomberg reports that US regulators are scrutinizing one of the world's largest cryptocurrency exchanges as questions is mount over a digital token linked to its backers. This follows reports of the company severing its relationship with its auditor. As Bloomberg details, the U.S. Commodity Futures Trading Commission sent subpoenas last week to virtual currency Venubit Finex and Tether, a company that issues a widely traded coin and claims it has begged to the dollar, according to a person familiar with the matter, who asked not to be identified discussing private information. The firms share the same chief executive officer. We routinely receive legal process from law enforcement agents and regulators conducting investigations, Bitfinex and Tether said Tuesday, in an emailed statement. It is our policy not to comment on any such requests. The reaction in cryptos was modest but lower as Bitcoin tumbled below $10,000 once again could Bitfinex, the world's largest, Hong Kong-based cryptocurrency exchange, be headed for a Mt. Gox-style collapse. It is starting to look that way. As we detailed here, when Mt. Gox first halted customer withdrawals in February 2014, it waited more than two weeks to admit the truth to its customers, that hackers had stolen more than $450 million of their assets, leaving the exchange bankrupt, and them holding the bag. 
That hack effectively crippled the entire digital currency ecosystem, ushering in a two-year bear market that at one point carried the Bitcoin price below $200, from what was then a record high north of $1,200 reached in November 2013. So when another exchange engages in similarly shady behavior with holding critical information about customer funds, or failing to produce audited financials despite promising to do so it should prompt crypto traders to ask themselves why, with dozens, if not hundreds, of cryptocurrency exchanges operating around the world, they re choosing to do business with this one. That asks the question that customers of Bitfinex should be asking nearly two weeks after the exchange, once one of the world's largest first revealed that it had been cut off from sending outbound dollar-denominated wires to its customers. Of course, halting customer withdrawals isn't the uncommon in the cryptocurrency world. All three of China's largest exchanges suspended customer withdrawals in February. And last year, Kraken, one of the biggest U.S.-based exchanges, suspended withdrawals temporarily because of a glitch in its trading software. But this freeze is particularly troubling because, like Mt. Gox, Bitfinex inexplicably decided to wait before informing customers of a critical problem. It also has implications that stretch beyond the Bitcoin market to another crypto token called Tether that was launched by Bitfinex back in January 2015 and has since been dogged by allegations that it is a scam. The halt is already costing Bitfinex's customers money. On Tuesday, Bitcoins were going for $1,547 on Bitfinex's platform, a premium of more than $100 over most of the other popular exchanges. Investors, apparently, feel that eating a 7%-8% loss is preferable to leaving their assets in Bitfinex's care any longer. Reddit users reported that wire transfers requested as early as March 9 were cancelled, and that the exchange offered only vague excuses as to why. It took the exchange until April 13, after it had filed a lawsuit against Wells Fargo and Company, whose correspondent banking division had effectively shut Bitfinex out of the global financial system, that the exchange disclosed the problem to its customers. And while Bitfinex has repeatedly said it would make things right it has promised to either establish a new banking relationship and to allow customers access to other fiat currencies only a handful of customers have been able to get their assets out of the exchange. As part of the freeze, Bitfinex has established a moratorium on cashing in Tether tokens held by its customers. These tokens were created by Bitfinex in 2015 to allow customers to exchange an asset that has pegged to the dollar at a one-to-one -one ratio, allowing them to avoid costly wire transfers that must be processed through the banking system. But the withdrawal freeze has put pressure on the Tether market for only the second time since they were introduced. Investors are selling these tokens at a discount. The price of a single token has been languishing below the $1 level for more than a week. More troubling still is that Bitfinex has so far refused to provide an audit of the fiat funds that allegedly backstop the tether float, despite promising that it would be fully transparent and audited to demonstrate 100% reserves at all times, when it first launched the token. This has led some to speculate that the exchange could be commingling Tether funds with other customer assets. While evidence of this could cause irreparable damage to Bitfinex's reputation, leading to a wave of withdrawals that could add further strain to its already thinning Bitcoin reserves, as Twitter user at Bitfinex points out, it is not technically a violation of the Tether terms of service. He rests an excerpt 
there is no contractual right or other right or legal claim against us to redeem or exchange your tethers for money. We do not guarantee any right of redemption or exchange of tethers by us for money. There is no guarantee against losses when you buy, trade, or redeem tethers. Given the preponderance of scams in the cryptocurrency market, investors who haven't he already should probably take what has left of their money and run, if they can of course. The institution responsible for producing all the physical money the country has for circulation, has announced the launch of its own gold-backed cryptocurrency. The blockchain-based coin, called Royal Mint Gold, RMG, is a digital representation of gold stored in the Royal Mint Vault. The Royal Mint Bullion, the Royal Mint Company, that sells physical gold is the first company to allow customers to hold gold-backed assets on blockchain, Tom Coghill, RMGS commercial lead, stated in an interview with Express.co.uk. Coghill also mentioned that one RMG coin is equal to one gram of gold, adding that it has real gold you reholding when you reholding our RMG. Reported that the country's largest precious metal refinery, Perthment was said to develop its own cryptocurrency backed by physical precious metals. Bitcoin is crashing again, back below 10k dollar, as Bitfinex tethers subpoena D given the preponderance of scams, in the cryptocurrency market should probably take what has left of their money, and run if they can of course. From Zero Hedge Bloomberg reports that US regulators are scrutinizing one of the world's largest cryptocurrency exchanges as questions is mount over a digital token linked to its backers. This follows reports of the company severing its relationship with its auditor. As Bloomberg details, the U.S. Commodity Futures Trading Commission sent subpoenas last week to virtual currency Venubit Finex and Tether, a company that issues a widely traded coin and claims it has begged to the dollar, according to a person familiar with the matter, who asked not to be identified discussing private information. The firms share the same chief executive officer. We routinely receive legal process from law enforcement agents and regulators conducting investigations, Bitfinex and Tether said Tuesday, in an emailed statement. It is our a recent report published by the World Gold Council, WGC, compared Bitcoin and gold, declaring that, though Bitcoin saw a higher growth in value in 2017, Gold would remain an important store of value investment. Coghill claimed that Bitcoin investments are more uncertain than investments in gold. Gold has probably had an argument that it has been a store of value for 6,000 years. Bitcoin has a bit younger, and the future of Bitcoin is uncertain. The RMG project was first unveiled by the Royal Mint in December 2016. The UK is not the only country to create a precious metals-backed cryptocurrency. Last week local sources in Australia reported Bitcoin has got another actual digital gold problem. UK Royal Mint has gold-backed cryptocurrency. The Royal Mint becomes the next sovereign mint to announce a gold-backed crypto. He rests the details editor as note, since Bitcoin cannot be used as currency, the pumpers have been calling Bitcoin digital gold. Well, now, there is actually digital gold cryptocurrencies being launched and many from actual sovereign mints, which begs the question, if there is actually digital gold, that Bitcoin is not, then what exactly is Bitcoin? 
by Helen Parts via Cointelegraph, a UKS Royal Mint.